Hi everyone. <clears throat> um, you may hear some weed eaters and such in the background because uh, those guys and I did not coordinate our schedules today. Uh, but I want to uh, just share a message with you um, about mindset today because I want, um, I, I believe there's people that need to know that they're not alone in the way that they're feeling and thinking. And um, we'll, we'll talk more about emotions in, in another video soon, but today we're gonna talk about our intellectual selves and, um, and our mindset. And so, um, you know, when we think of that, we think of things like um, depression and anxiety and um, a negative mindset. And, you know, sometimes we, we have people tell us, well, you just need to think positive or you just need to do this or need to do that. And it's difficult to receive messages like that when someone else is telling us what we need to do. Um, when, when they haven't had our experience, when they don't live in our body um, and, and, you know, they haven't been on the same journey. So I just want to bring um, to your attention um, some things that affect our our brain and therefore our mindset and and we got into that a little bit yesterday um, as far as um, nutrition and our gut flora and and whether or not things are reaching our brain to um, to boost our, our brain chemistry and our feel-good chemicals so <clears throat> I just want to bring to your attention some other things because um, a lot of times we can get down on ourselves and we feel bad for feeling bad, right? And, and we, um, we attempt to that positive thinking, well, at least, um, at least this isn't going on or that isn't going on. Um, or, you know, it could be so much worse and, and I'm blessed, you know, to, to have it as good as I do. And, and that's wonderful to encourage yourself that way. Um, however, it, it doesn't make it any easier to experience what you're experiencing. And um, just to share a little story with you about me, because I got my permission, um, I, gosh, a couple decades ago, just started feeling so terrible, um, just aches and pains all over, um, inflamed, terrible migraines and headaches constantly, and I kept going to the doctor and going to the doctor and going to the doctor, and they would run blood tests and this and that, and the um the explanation they gave me most of the time is oh, you're just depressed you're just depressed you know and and these these pains and everything is it's because you're depressed and you know never got anywhere and finally i went back and i said okay doc you got me i'm depressed because i feel like crap you know i'm i'm depressed because i feel like crap you know it, it's not that i feel like crap because i'm depressed but anyway um so the things that affect our thinking, obviously our experiences, right? Um, our, our journey and our life experiences and, and influences from the world and relationships and other people, um, that's no secret at all. Our nutrition, <clears throat> we talked about yesterday, um, that uh, you know, even if you're eating organic, um, organic foods, it, they're only as healthy as the soil they're grown in. So um, a lot of times we're just not getting the proper nutrition in what we're consuming. And then our gut flora, if, if our, our gut is not equipped to break down those um, nutritious things that we're consuming, then it doesn't get into our bloodstream and it doesn't reach our, our brain. Um, hormones, okay, that's no secret, especially to us ladies. We know that hormones affect our thinking, right? And it's the same for men. And men actually go on a, a hormonal cycle every month, and, and they can have imbalanced hormones as well. But um, hormonal imbalances and shifts in hormones really affect our thinking and our mindset. Um, sleep, you know, the amount of sleep and the quality of sleep that we're getting. Medications, okay, there's uh, it's no secret there. There's all kinds of side effects from medications, and they just list the most prominent ones. Um, chemical additives, uh, especially in our foods and, you know, pesticides and different things that we're 
um, we're exposed to affect the air we breathe. It, it can affect our brain chemistry, pain and inflammation. So when, when we are in pain, just like the, the story I was sharing with you, it's so hard to have a, a, a positive mindset because it's hard to even think, period. So it, it's difficult to think positively when it's difficult to even think, right? And um, foods and intolerances. And um, so, so many of us aren't aware that we're intolerant of, of certain foods. And that doesn't mean an allergy, a food allergy, because intolerances and allergies are um, completely different. There's a different uh, response in the body. And um, in, intolerances won't show up on an allergy test it, it won't show IgE antibodies and so um, that those are things that um, that we may not be aware of and now we have all these GMO foods and uh, most of you probably know what that is but if not they're gen they're genetically modified foods okay so th these uh, these foods um, our bodies uh, are not even designed to um, to process <laughs> Okay, and um, and then and then we have hormones added to our foods and antibiotics added to our foods and and all these different things, um, and uh, let's see our stress, right? I mean, especially here lately, has been a very stressful time for many people with um, you know situations with work and kids and schooling and relationships and and, and being distant from people, um, vaccines we we have no idea what's really in the vaccines we get. Okay, and that's just a list of some of the things. So so what I'm, I, I desire to do is, is to give you some alleviation in knowing that these things that are affecting your body chemistry and your thinking are not your fault. Okay, um, and, and it's no wonder with all of these things affecting our brain chemistry that we have um, uh, food addictions and substance addictions, right? Because our body's just trying to level out our brain chemistry that's being affected by all these different things. Um, so, uh, but but what I I want you to be aware of is is it is possible to um, to to heal that and, with the proper resources and um, and and of course it takes time healing. Even for a flesh wound, healing takes time, and, and it takes um, knowledge and a, and a conscious effort. And it's okay to use crutches. Um, you know, it, it's okay to use um, and do the best you know to um, to, to get you by and, and to use a crutch. And and I wish so much that um, you know that I had the time to go into great detail about. Um, th these these things that you can do to take care of yourself, to balance and heal your body, and therefore um, balance and heal your your mind and your brain chemistry. Um, and and so, uh, but uh, but there is one thing that I I think most anyone would enjoy that I um, I used as a crutch for a while, and I still enjoy doing it from time to time. And, and that's to take this um, this guided visualization journey uh, because it um, it allows your mind to relax and be creative without ex expending energy. Okay, and um, and most of us just lack that um, that rest for our brain and and, and to be creative. And so, um, if you would, if you would like for me to send you one of those, um, a, a guided journey, um, it's a creative journey for your mindset. Then just, just make a comment in the comments below. Um, send me the journey, or, or however you want to word it, and, and it boosts your oxytocin and, and your feel-good brain chemicals. And, um, and so it's a, it's a fun and relaxing way um, to, to boost, boost those brain chemicals that that we need and um, so I'm, I'm not I'm not encouraging you to have a pity party for yourself um, but I'm I'm encouraging you not to feel bad for feeling bad because 
a lot of times we get down on ourselves and say, well, why can't I just think better? And why can't I just be more positive like this person or that person? And, and we compare ourselves to others. And, um, but, but what I, I just want you to realize that um, our brain chemistry and the way we think is, is so related to our physical health as well and the things we're exposed to and the things we consume. Um, so, so there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not a bad person. You're, you're not a negative person. Um, you might just have a slightly negative mindset and, and, and there's reasons for that. And that's, I, I just, I hope that you find some alleviation and some freedom in knowing that and realizing that, um, that it's okay to take the time to care for yourself. And, and to use these crutches and to, and to do things um, that, will, that will help your brain chemistry in a natural way because it's going to be good for everybody else around you as well. And, and when we have more of our own joy and peace of mind, we have more to, to give to others, right? So it's not selfish to take care of you at all. And um, so that's basically what I have for you today. And... Um, like I said, I wish I had, you know, I wish we all had the time to go into greater detail, but I just want you basically to know that you're not alone, and, um, and also, uh, I have a group, um, for women who, uh, are, are interested in natural approaches to, to healing their body and their minds, and, and it's just a group, um, where I share things and, um, and, and we support and encourage one another. And, you know, I, I'm human and I struggle too sometimes. And so I by no means want to come across as I've got it all figured out or all together. Um, I just, I want to share what I do know and to offer you some encouragement. So um, take care of yourself and don't feel bad for feeling bad. Okay, be blessed, not stressed. And I'll see you next time for um, a little a little sharing on emotions, okay, and how those affect us. All right, see you soon. Loves and hugs. Be blessed, not stressed. Bye-bye.